Hello everybody, you're here with Claudio Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. So this is a very quick video. I just wanted to show you because I received it a while back and I hadn't showed it to you, but this is the new uh, sweatshirts from Michelle Wand. Yes, indeed. You uh, just like she described, very, very long leaves, which is delicious for the winter. Uh, and the shoulder is slow. And so let me show you a little bit. Um, so this is, uh, I think an extra large. No, I think this is a large. I'll put it down below. I don't remember which one I decided to buy. No, I think this is a large. Okay, yes. So this is a large and it fits me very, very roomy, comfortable roomy. I don't think I need more than this. I think this is the one that she showed in her in her uh, video when she showcases. And um, but she says she sometimes ordered uh, wears the extra large. I think it's the same for me. This is extremely comfortable, extremely loose, but yet it's conforming. So for me, the this size will be perfect. I think in the extra large, I will feel too much fabric or too much going on, but uh, but perhaps it will be very comfortable. The fabric is delicious. I haven't washed this. I have wear it, but I haven't watched it yet. She says she has watched it several times hers and nothing happens to them. So I trust her with that. Uh, and you know, I'm very big on all her neckwear, which is their scarves. Uh, but so she has a new logo uh, is different than before and this is where she decided to place it uh, I have to say it's a lovely logo I think I like the other one perhaps because you know you get attached to things I love this but to me when I look at it I feel that it says two ends and her logo is Michelle Wang. So M and W always opposite. So you can see it, right? This is a W. And then here it is, the M. So I get it. <laughs> but, uh, but to me, it looks more like two ants. And I think both logos are nice. But, you know, I really like the other one also. Uh, so she has these sweatshirts and she has only two colors. So this is one color. I think she calls it tan. And then she has a light tan, which is kind of cream. It's not white. It's not ivory. It's sort of a soft, not soft white. You have to see it. It's, she calls it light tan, right? So it is not this because it looks more cream light. Um, I was really more towards that color. I think it would complement me a lot more, but I'm not very big on wearing light colors in fall and winter. I don't know why. I just, it will be very rare that I do feel comfortable, maybe because I'm cold and I just want a warm color. And that's why I decided to order this uh, tan. Now it's not bad. Obviously this color will go with everybody. It's not like camel. Camel would not have been good for me. But this color is very complimentary, I think, to all skin tones. Not the most complimentary to mine, but it works. Um, and to tell you the truth, I don't own, obviously, nothing of this color. So she was very unique on the coloring. Um, but it does have a little bit of brown to it or brown towards. And so that is good because I don't own almost nothing brown. This is usually not a very good color for me. And so I like that. I mean, if I'm feeling like warm browns, hey, I pulled this one out. Yes, it's not brown, but usually I go for black, grays, uh, you know, summer color, winter color. So having something different in my collection is good. Uh, she could have gone with gray and and so does most people. So the fact that she chose very, very uh, unique color, I really appreciate it. And again, the lighter color is also extremely unique. I only seen it online, but she compared with other 
white light colors and it really look very unique. I must say this color on the screen where she shows it, it is pretty much what I saw. So uh, no surprises there. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> and so, uh, but it is my favorite to go uh, sweatshirt at this moment. Of course it's new. Of course I always like the new things. But for those of you that got the Lisa Eldridge last year, uh, which I got both. She had two colors. One is gray and one is red. I think she came out with the red first and then the gray. I got them both. Why? Because they're very roomy like this. They're a little bigger. And I think I got the extra large on hers. But they're thicker. This one is so thin. So that makes it very, very comfy. Uh, very comfortable. Um, it's... Um, very thin, it is breathable. And again, I don't know once I wash it, if it'll shrink, but uh, I trust that it will not. And, but comfortable, oh man, it is. Now, how warm it is, I'm not sure because I wear it here in my air conditioning and it's perfect. Uh, I don't know if I'm up there in the very cold weathers, would that be enough? I don't know that, but you can put obviously something on top of it. But thin, comfortable, soft, cozy, delicious, yes. So do I recommend it? Yes. Um, I was not going to get it because the two colors, like I said, is not the most complimentary. However, um, um, if you bought, I don't know if she still has this going on. I think she does. If you buy a sweatshirt, you get 30% off of one of her neckwears, meaning the scarves. The, uh, is it a scarf, an, um, uh, a shawl, and uh, I don't remember the names that she placed on these three items. I own them all three in different colors. Uh, I should have pulled them out for you. The only one that I pull out is the new acquiring, uh, the new one that I acquire. But um, the reason where I was going with this the reason I got the sweatshirt is because she offered 30% off of one of those neckwears. And these babies are not inexpensive. They cost some money, but the quality is delicious and worthwhile, in my opinion. And so I ordered this sweatshirt. And, uh, and the 30% off pays for the sweatshirt. <laughs> of course, you end up with a little less, but you get the two items, right? So the item that I did get was the one that I didn't have in my collection, which is the wrap, this one. And I decided on this color, um, but of course there's many others that I was eyeing. One is a very kind of navy, dark, I think it's called deep. It's not a black, it's sort of a more of a navy, but it's sort of in between. She also has the black, which is gorgeous. I just own many blacks, but that one is special because it has a brightness, that black that would have complimented me. However, I went with a very distinct color, which is this one. I have been eyeing it because she has it in this fabric and, um, and in the other one, what is more of a shawl. It's a very thin. I ordered the lilac on that other. I'm sorry I don't have it here with me, but you can find the video because I showcase the two that I own. And the main difference, because I was with one of you subscribers going back and forth about what was the difference between the wrap and the shawl. And they're very different, very different. I actually was very surprised of the thinness, thin of this one. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot bulkier. So if I had known this, I probably would have ordered the lilac color in this instead of the shawl uh, because I like the softness of this more. However, this one has wool. And so this one will be very warm. Uh, the other one is something you can put in your purse. So when the air conditioning is going, I could use it here in Miami when it's hot. So I can see the purpose of all three. So in that case, no, I guess I don't regret buying the other one. I, I still would have buy the three. Yeah, what was I thinking? Anyhow, so that shawl doesn't have uh, wool. 
uh, but it, it warms you up. Uh, the fabric, of course, is soft. It's very thin. It's a very big fabric. Um, so from the three, I probably, I don't know, this and the uh, scarf are one of my favorites, but they're very different because the scarf is sort of needed and it will be harder to put in a bag if you're traveling. It's a little more bulkier, but I love to use it at home or to run errands or things like that. It's warm, it's cozy, it's just gorgeous. This one is thin, it's so soft. I mean, I would never have thought this one has wood, uh, wool. I think this one, I don't know if it has cashmere, but it feels more like that. I forget now, you know, I read the whole information and I had it and I knew it, but it's been so long, my memory does not serve me right. If I look at the information, I immediately remember, but of course you can say, why were you not prepared? Well, I was prepared, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's, yeah, 50% cashmere and 50% wool. I was right. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful color. I'm not going to put it on because, you know, this pink with this and then the terracotta look, I don't think it's giving it justice to the beautiful color. Nevertheless, uh, I will bring it up in another video where I have more of the pinks, especially like if I wear the new Dior, the Poison Matte, N not a new blush out there, but a new to my collection that I recently um, showed it in Get Ready With Me. So if I wear it like that, oh yeah, yeah, that will really, really, really make this like pop. Uh, the only surprise I think, um, this is more pink in person than when I saw it online. Online, I thought it had a little more um, uh, future, or I mean, it is future, but more pink. The other, the one I thought it was, the one online when I saw it, I thought it was gonna be a little more future strength, like not bolder, but darker, a little darker, like a little more violet, not violet, but uh, a little more purplish to it. So it just make a pink, a bolder, warmer, sort of thing. So it is a lot more pinker than I thought, uh, but it does not bother me whatsoever because it's just gorgeous, soft. So um, you can make this a wrap, like his name, you know, um, and just warm yourself up like this. You can really uh, make this like a little, she describes a little kind of blanket for for the airplane and things like that because it opens up quite a bit, you see. Um, and you can really make a nice scarf. I mean, I said I was not gonna showcase this and here I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you might think I, I have no clue what I'm doing. Yeah, sometimes that's the case. So, oh God, so I put this little headband so my hair is not like super explosive. Okay, and you know why I did that? Because I just did a video where my hair is super explosive, but I thought, you know, I don't know if you're a fan of, of um, Michelle Wong, but she's always very put together and meticulous and, and likes things very classy. I didn't think she would appreciate my <laughs> spunky hair. Probably she would say, of course I would, you know, because she's so polite, um, but, and she's fun, but I decided I'll put the headband on, you know, a little more put together <laughs> to showcase her gorgeous, gorgeous scarf. So I'm in love with this. I am very happy I did. It's in the expensive side. Yes, indeed. But I did trust her that uh, she put good fabrics in it, and I think she did, and uh, and the color, ooh. I mean, the black, the deep, and she has, of course, some very bright green, and she has a, um, what was it? I think a citrine sort of looking, so that will complement a lot of skin colors. Not me, not me at all, but um, but this one does. Oh, she has a bright orange as well. That one is gorgeous too. 
Um, but I went with this, very happy with my purchase. Oh, look, the, the, the longer I wear, the more I like it. <laughs> I'm happy I didn't order the light, the light sweatshirt. And then at the same time, I'm like, maybe I should. It's so comfortable. That will be kind of my outfit for the winter. But uh, no, no, I'll pace myself. Uh, but yeah, this is warm. Just for the amount of time that I've been with you guys, oh, this is warming me up. So if you don't want this amount of warm, so this will definitely be to go outside, you know, to have the jacket and this and the dress up. So this is perfect for that. Uh, the shawl will be, um, so this is a wrap. The shawl, the thin one, the lilac, will be for uh, going to air conditioning, maybe inside to just have it in your purse. And then the actual scarf, which is needed, oh, that was delicious. That one probably inside the home or also to take it for errands and things like that where you're not packing or you don't have a small bag or things like that. That would be sort of the thing. Very happy I own three and now I own this sweatshirt. And so thank you, Michelle Wong. And unfortunately, she will not be making this any longer. She is, uh, as soon as the inventory is gone, she's going to close it down. I guess it was too much work. Uh, but nevertheless, I appreciate the run. <laughs> I appreciate her effort, the run, and I got all her products. So that's for life. Oh, and just one last thing. I don't think I show you, but um, I just saw it. And I wanted to say something, and I think I forgot, uh, which is how I spoke about the logo. This used to be her logo. It was an M and a W, uh, very kind of, um, and one of her wraps, I mean, one of the shawls, I think, has the logo. Oh, maybe this one does. Yeah. Yeah, you can't barely see, but it is in there. You see that? You see the logo throughout the fabric? Yeah, MW. Um, so this was before she changed it. And so now is this, the new logo. So there you have it. Um, yeah, I don't know which one you like better. This one or the previous one? <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's it. I can't believe I went on and on and on about those two things. I just wanted to be chatty today and talk to you and say hello. And uh, thank you very much for being here. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell on the right hand corner. Please comment down below. Did you get any uh, of all of these items or her jewelry or just do you watch her? All right. Well, thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Bye.